So the eye is a really remarkable structure and our visual system is, is quite phenomenal. The eye, you can either look at it from an anatomical point of view or you can look at it from what the eye does. It is more important as far as its representation in the brain is concerned than any of the other senses. In very simple terms, it's a window to the whole perception of vision. Without it, you can just imagine how sort of debilitating that would be. And if you are visually impaired or you're, or you're blinded, you're much more likely to suffer with problems associated with quality of life. I think that the more we know about it, the more we realise we don't know about it. Uh, and it's really the bit that tickles me is where the eye gets to the brain, what happens there. I'm Shahina Pardan, I'm the Professor of Optometry and I direct the Vision and Eye Research Unit which is part of the Postgraduate Medical Institute at Anglia Ruskin University. Vision and Eye Research Unit is a multidisciplinary platform where we have researchers from, with different research expertise. We have vision scientists, we have optometrists, we've got ophthalmologists, psychologists. Whenever you need the expertise it's invariably here. The benefits of working together with scientists are that we are a completely cross-disciplinary team and we can call in all kinds of specialists from various different areas. Uh, we're not limited, we're not just optometrists or ophthalmologists or basic scientists, but we have the whole of the university at our disposal. Within the department in, in our low vision research uh, area, we have links with the University of California at Berkeley. The ele electronic device work is in collaboration with the University of Mino in Portugal. And we also have links with a big um, reading research group in the University of Minnesota. The NHS clinicians come to us um, as visiting staff and that's really very good because that allows us to translate our laboratory-based research into the clinical domain to improve visual outcomes. Uh, Anglia Ruskin University uh, through Vision and Eye Research Unit have a, a good record of delivering um, uh, research um, in both the areas of ophthalmology and also optometry. From a consultant's perspective who looks after the public whenever I'm working within my NHS environment, it's something tangible which I can then export into, into the uh, clinic population, the patient population through uh, research activities is very important. Uh, I'm a professor at uh, Vision and Eye Research Unit. Uh, I'm also uh, an eye surgeon at Adam Brooks uh, in Cambridge uh, where I do corneal transplantation and cataract surgery. In Veru, we do quite a lot of things related to eye research, and I pretty much focus my time here uh, promoting corneal research and cataract research. Um, I work in conjunction with basic science laboratories here, which is part of life sciences, and a clinical, huge clinical department such as the Cambridge University Hospitals, where I'm, I work as a consultant. We bring together several uh, uh, researchers from various fields to address one particular problem. Uh, and, and, and that's where Veru forms a platform to enable this, this communication and the interaction and collaboration between various research fields. We collaborate with the WHO, the World Health Organization, on a research project that's been funded by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, as well as uh, the Brian Holden Foundation in Australia. And that's, that has actually looked at the prevalence of eye disease and blindness around the world as part of the Global Burden of Disease project. That work has been published in six Lancet papers, including a special edition of Lancet that was launched by the Department of Health last year in December 2012. Well, I have a background in psychology. I did an undergraduate in psychology and then a master's in cognitive neuroscience. So I had the sort of the face recognition part of it came from that, from um, just looking at the brain and how it works. And I've never done vision before, and this opportunity came up, and I thought it was a good way to learn about it and bring both things together. Two of my supervisors, uh, their speciality is vision and macular degeneration and things like that. I've got another um, supervisor who is a psychologist and another one who is a computer scientist. So we've got lots of different expertise coming together and makes for a really nice discussion and ideas for projects and things like that. Uh, and patients always come first. So even though we're doing basic research, we're trying to make it as translational as possible and get it out there into practice as soon as we possibly can. 
The progress that Vision and Eye Research Unit has made over, since 2009 is we've, in, we've doubled the number of researchers, we've doubled the number of our PhD completions, and in the last three and a half years, we've increased our research income by two and a half times. The, the, the future looks incredibly interesting and exciting and we are moving into a sort of semi-science fiction world and doing things we didn't think were possible. A university department is a great challenge. It's a center of learning. It's a place where people come to want to learn and find out things that they don't already know. And that is what makes it exciting.